Once again, all this week, I'm going back to the basics um, using a bash shell here, but most of what I'm going to be teaching will work uh, in most other shells. Um, and bash is probably the most common uh, at the current date. Um, and uh, last time, just to review, we did a, click in the window here, uh, we learned about the echo command, so we can echo hello world. Uh, we also learned that you can press the arrow keys up and down to go through your history. And uh, you can separate commands with a semicolon. And you can get user input using the read command and then giving it the name of a variable. So name would be an example. If I hit enter now, it says hello world. It doesn't really ask me a question, but I can type something and hit enter. And then once again, I can use the echo command to output the variable, and we know it's the variable because it has the dollar sign before it, and then the name we gave it up here. So we'll hit enter, and you can see it It printed out the same thing I typed in up here. So that was a quick little review. Moving on, um, let's learn about keeping the screen clean with clear. Uh, while writing out a script, you can type in clear in your command or in the shell here, and hit enter, and that clears your screen for you. You can also, and let me uh, just run this again, so blah, 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 and then we can... So I'm just hitting up arrow to get back to my previous commands, just to get some stuff on the screen here so I can clear it again. And as I said, you can type the word clear and hit enter, and it'll clear the screen. But if you're actually, and that's great if you're writing a script, but if you're actually working in the terminal, in a shell, uh, many times, uh, I'm not sure if it's true all the time, but it has been every time I've tried doing it, uh, in a Unix environment or a Unix-like environment like Linux, uh, you can hit Control L and clear that. I wanted to say that because viewers will get mad at me if I don't bring that up. So Control L is a shortcut key for clearing the screen, or you can just type clear, which is what you'd have to do if you want a script to clear, which we're going to get into actually writing out scripts later this week. Uh, so that's clearing the screen, typing clear or hitting Control L. Next thing I wanted to bring up was the new line. So if we use the echo command, I can say echo, hello, and then I can say semicolon and a new command, and I'll use the echo command again, and I will say world. Now we're echoing hello, and then we're echoing world, two separate commands when I hit enter. They're on new lines because by default, Echo puts a new line character at the end of what it's echoing. You can tell it to not do that if you'd like by adding the dash n um, uh, option. I always, I'm trying to get the right wording here. Um, switch. Uh, they're called different things and they are different things and people kind of overlap them and I do all the time. But basically what I'm trying to say here is um, Basically, when this first command is echoing out hello, when it's done, it's like it's hitting enter to create a new line. But if before we put out, between echo and what we're echoing out, we put a dash n, we will hit enter, and you can see they're on the same line now because this dash n means no new line. Don't put a new line. You also notice that the words are together because we don't have any spaces in there. So if you really wanted to do this, you should put an extra space right there. And now we have... Hello world. So, I mean, this is just an example. Uh, there will be cases where you use this n no new line uh, option. Um, this is kind of a weird one because you wouldn't actually do it like this. You would say echo hello world on one command. Uh, I do want to say, though, that if you were to do that with the second one, now you're going to not have a new line at the end of this one, and your prompt is now at the end of it because we never got a new line. So that's why it's all on one line here. If we hit enter again, it it goes back to normal. So that's removing the new line at the end, but let's say you wanted to echo something out with a new line in the middle of it. Well, we can do that too with uh, using a, the backslash and the end within the uh, string that we're echoing. So echo, and then I can say, hello world, and other things, I don't know. So if I hit enter now, it echoes that out all on one line. But let's say 
I wanted it to have and other things on a new line, but I didn't want to use a second echo command. What I can do is I can come in here and I can do a backslash n. And that is the new line character. And I will hit enter and uh, oh, when using that, you need to use the dash e option here so that it recognizes that backslash uh, command. So um, basically it's saying look for these special characters that are backslashed out because there are other ones in there as well, um, which we might get into in later tutorials. Um, but basically it's saying look for anything with a backslash in the letter and use that as a special character. And in this case, backslash n uh, will say new line. So once again, run it again, we get the two lines, we get the first half of it, hello world, hello world, and then right here it's like hitting enter, it's a new line, that's what this backslash n is, you don't see the backslash n, but you get the new line, and then we have n other things on the next line. Um, so don't forget to put that dash e if you wanted to use that. Um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Let's quickly review. We typed in clear and hit enter to clear the screen. Or if you're actually working in the terminal like I am right here, you can hit control L. Uh, and we went over echo dash N means no new lines. So I can say hello and you can see that there was no enter after the word hello here. So our command prompt ended up showing up after it. Hit enter to get past that. And then we can use the dash E here to look for special characters that are backslashed out. So like dash N, hello world. We'll put the two on different lines, kind of like, and you can use that multiple times in there. I can say hello world and other things. And you can see that each time it put a new line. So I thank you for watching. Once again, this whole week, I'm posting a bunch of very basic uh, shell commands for you to learn because um, the original ones I did, the quality wasn't very good. And so I just thought getting back to the basics, doing a bit nicer quality, a uh, little bit better audio, better visual recording. Uh, so every day this week, next week, we're going to get back to our regular tutorials. We've been working on video editing from the command line. If you like these tutorials and you enjoy them and you want to learn more, I have once again hundreds and hundreds of tutorials at my site. A whole lot of them are on uh, shell script, mostly bash, but should work in other shells as well for the most part. Not everything, but mostly. Um, and uh, so go there. It's filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of this video. Uh, my videos, for the most part, are broken down into playlists. Uh, I have a lot of videos, and I'm very bad about remembering to put some, in, so there's some that might be missed in the playlist, but for the most part, they're all broken down in playlists. You can search through them, um, and I just hope you enjoy my tutorials. Hope you continue watching. Uh, there should be a annotation, if I don't forget, to this entire playlist, so this whole, uh, there should be a playlist for bash or shell script basics. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.